Hey guys. It's Becca, back with the Mailman family. Um, I should say the Bloom family because to me she's a Bloom now. Um, I know in the last video, at the very, like, very, very end of it, uh, Tanisha became pregnant, and she's actually had her baby now, and, um, there's a funny story to it, so she was pregnant, and, um, like, I did all the stuff, like, read the books and stuff like she wanted for that, and, um, she, it suddenly said that she was having a baby, and I like them to have the babies at home sometimes just because it's a different experience and I don't have to sit there and wait and watch the hospital. So, um, I was watching her, like, push and whatever, and then out came, um, the baby, and I named her Teresa, and she got the genius and excitable treats. I just randomized them because I figured it was easier, and, um, her favorites are classical, dim sum, and red, which, like, the whole fam, her whole, her dad and everybody used to love red and everything, so I was like, alright, one baby girl, that's great. Next thing I know, another box pops up and says she had another girl, and I thought, oh, twins, that's cool, and then I randomized that baby's, um, trait, and she got grumpy and athletic, and her favorites were kids, ratatouille, and green. And I had already made the baby's room, and it was pretty small, so fitting w another crib in there wouldn't be a big deal. And so I was like, oh, cool, I got twins, you know? I said I only wanted to have two babies, but maybe we can have three instead. And then, all of a sudden, another box popped up, and Tanisha had triplets, but the third one is actually a boy, and I named him Seth, and his traits are slob, loves the outdoors, his favorites are Chinese, falafel, and sea foam as a color. And I was like, what the hell? Where am I going to put all the baby stuff now? Because there's so many babies. So I actually had to build onto the house, which I wasn't very happy about because I wanted her to keep a small house. But her house is getting huge. And I don't think she's going to have any more kids now, but I wanted her, like, daughter or son, the first child she had, to have a little sibling. So she may have four kids now because she had to have triplets the first time. And let's hope that she doesn't get triplets again if I do try. And I was so mad that she got three, but it was cool that she got two girls and a boy. So let me show you the triplets. Um, this one here is Teresa, the first baby. This one here is Tabitha, the second baby. And this one here is the baby baby, Seth. And he's very fair compared to his sisters. His sisters are very tan, and he's got, like, more of a fairer complexion because he takes more after uh, Tanisha and the girls take after Shay. But, um, like I said, Tanisha's first name starts with a T. So the girls' names are Teresa and Tabitha, both starting with a T. And Seth, or Shay's name starts with an S, so I made, named the boy Seth. So... Instead of having just three people now, I have five with one pregnancy. And I was so mad. But I'm happy that it was, like, triplets and I got two girls and a boy. Because if I got all the same gender, I would have been pretty upset. Like, I don't know if she's going to have more kids now because I didn't want her to have many in the beginning. But now that she already has three, it's like, that's a lot already. And then the puppy and the horse. So, I mean, it's a lot of work. And, um, I know that I did a video on them last time, but I figured you'd want to watch the new babies. So, I'll do this video on Tanisha, and then I'll do the next one on Daniel instead. And, um, right now, Tanisha is eating her cookies that she had the craving for when she was pregnant with the, with the babies. And, um, Shay is eating still some of that leftover wedding cake. And, um... He actually just got promoted to corporate drone. He's at business level four. And um, everything is in the bright green. So I'm hoping he's going to get another promotion pretty soon because we're definitely going to need it because we're going to need a couple more high chairs. And, um, yeah, so this is the baby's room. Very small. I know I just moved the wall back a little bit and the living room wall back a little bit to put the 
swings in because taking care of triplets at the baby stage is way too hard to not have both things. So, I put the swings in for her to be able to use with the babies. And the horse is playing with her horse ball. And where is Maxie? What's Maxie in? Maxie is thinking about the cookies. I don't know why he keeps getting this react negatively thing. It's kind of really annoying. But let's get Tanisha to turn the swings on for the babies. So let's have her... Uh, no. I want her to turn on to slow. For the babies. And, um... Let's get him to go eat. Oh yeah, and Tanisha just made um some new fish pet food for the dog. It's something different. How about you answer your phone? And they went and bought the books down at the store and it cost them five hundred dollars. And now somebody wants to get us to get a dog. I'm not adopting no dog. I'm sorry, people, but there's other things in this world that are more important than dogs. I just can have a house full already. Just from one birth. I'm, I'm kind of happy that she had twin triplets because I like the different genders. But I think one baby would have been better for her because her house is going to be small. Even knowing the land is huge, that's okay. I don't want her to have a huge house. I don't really like huge houses very much. I mean, I like families. I like families that have, like, quite a few kids. Because it's better that way. More entertaining. But it's, it's annoying to have to have a million kids all the time. So. Okay, I think you need to go eat something now. You need to drink. And you need to take a nap. And he needs to go to sleep. What is he doing? He's putting stuff in the baby, the baby bookshelf. But yeah, everything is blue, um, yellow and green. Cause I didn't know what the baby's gender was gonna be, but thank God it is multi, um, neutral colored because we have both genders. So. Wouldn't have worked out too well if I had decorated it all in blue or all in pink. But before he goes to bed, let's have him put um, the baby to bed. Put stuff in his crib. And he says the curry household moved away. So yeah, that's what happened with the baby deal. Domino won the Southland Stakes at the Equestrian Center. And let's just use go to the bathroom and get in. Oh, it's always the grind. Because it can't be anything else. So stop telling me about that. Stupid stuff. Um. Let's see. If you notice, the living room keeps getting moved around a tad bit here and there. Like the swing, when I first put it was over here, but then it's I wanted to put them all together, and man, it's just, the house gets more and more hectic every day that, um, I have to take care of these kids, and Grace just got the tr playful treat from, I have no idea, I think playing with her horse ball, and, um, he's going to put the babies to bed now, and he's first working with Teresa. And, um, their birthday's in 22 days. I hate how they mix up the They can put the birthdays on different days, even knowing that they were born the same day. It kind of makes no sense to me, but that's just how they work it, I'm looking for And, Alright, so that's Teresa. Now he's going to put Tabitha here and and 
set over here. I couldn't think of very good girl or boy names for the triplets, so I named them whatever first came to mind. And, ooh, excuse me. And since um, I had to name the girl with T's and the boy with an S because that's just how I have been working with the whole entire family, um, I just I don't know a lot of T names and I don't know a lot of S names for boys. So unless it was like Scott or something, and then that's so original, I didn't want it. So I tried to make something different. Okay, go back to sleep. Okay, let's go to sleep. What are you going to do? Can you even sleep on the couch? No, the only thing you can do on the couch is chew it. Nap. Slow nap. Everyone else is trying is getting ready for bed and what the heck? That was a glitch in a And he gets a memory for picking up Seth. Obviously he's never picked him up because they just had him like a couple days ago. Um, and I know you're probably like, Well, why do you need all the toddler stuff? Because even when they become toddlers, they're still going to need the crib, so I just put it in at the beginning so I know it all fits. And they can use these swings as toddlers also, so the only thing that I'm going to have to make room for is two more high chairs to be able to feed them. So, yeah. About that. So, this one is Tabitha, Teresa, and that is in this one. You can't really see him. But he's there. And that line. And Tanisha is going to be getting up soon, so let's have her use the bathroom, shower, uh, she needs to clean up the plate. And she needs to eat some more because she's getting a little hungry. And um, she doesn't go to back to work for one day and 11 hours yet. So, um, it's going to be a little while before she, like, is promoted or anything. But, um, when Shay wakes up, she needs to use, shower, uh, eat, wedding cake, and then he needs some fun, so I'm going to let him watch some TV. Um, what's the dog doing? The dog is just lying back, shaking his head. Now he's going to nap. What are you doing? I thought you were taking a nap in your bed. You're going to nap on the floor. You're a beauty. Aw, look at you. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Oh, look at the scene. Okay. Hold on a second. He's sleeping with his eyes open. How is that possible? Anyway. Alright, so he needs to socialize, but there's no one up that he can socialize with right now. Because even the horse is sleeping. And the horse needs to be cleaned again. He cleaned like five times recently. Alright, who's getting up? Come on, Tanisha, out of bed. Your babies are going to need you soon because they're going to need to be diaper changed. Now, if I had left them in the swings, I wouldn't have to change the diapers because everything goes up while they're in there constantly. But, um, then they don't get socialization, so they're not like friends or whatever when they become toddlers. So I try to take them out enough where the parents get to know them still, and it's not like a big deal. Um... It's not like a big deal, um, because they just come out periodically and then they go right back into the swing. 
But um, I've had to like change their diapers and feed them and stuff. It's not like I'm not taking care of, taking care of them. Cause I am. Who lost a friend? Shay lost a friend. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that. Well, I could make them friends again, but he doesn't really need friends right now, so... Okay, so this baby here is just wet itself, so I need to get her to change his dirty diaper. Give it a bottle, and then we're going to socialize with it a little bit. And then we're going to put it... Who is that? What one is that one? Tabitha or Teresa? Teresa. So Teresa goes in this swing. I like to try and keep them in the, in the right swing so I can, I know who is who. Because I know this is Teresa's, Tabitha's, and Seth's. And if I mix up the girls, I'll forget who's who. So it's easier for me just to remember by putting them in the right, in the same swings all the time. And, um,. Well, your mommy's coming here soon. She's gonna eat first, I think. She's hungry too. Um, what are you doing? Why are... This puppy is just like running around. <laughs> Silly. Okay, your daughter's crying, so I suggest you hurry with that stupid cookie. With your stupid smirk on your face. So I'm really excited to know if they're gonna have blonde hair or I think he has brown hair. So when they become toddlers, we'll be able to see what color hair they have. And I hope they don't all have the same color hair, because it would be cool if they had like a variety of hair colors. And sometimes it happens, and sometimes it doesn't. So, yeah. I think we're actually going to buy a new shower. What's this baby need? This baby needs some socialization. So, after she put uh, Teresa in the swing, we're going to have her come and take care of the next baby. Because, um,. That's just how it works. And the babies like the swing better than the beds, too, because they actually, like, move around. It's cuter when they're in the swing. In their beds, they just kind of lie there or sleep, one or the other. And now this baby's mad. And I don't want to wake Shay up because he has to work to come help her, so she's kind of on her own right now with the babies because it's like 2 in the morning and if I wake him up, he's going to be in a bad mood and never get promoted. So, I'm trying to make her take care of her babies. And it looks like that baby may have brown hair when it comes out, but I don't know because this one looks like it has blonde, so maybe that's how we're going to know. Okay, so let's see what Seth has then. Seth has brown hair. Let's see if it works out that way. Let's see if Teresa gets brown hair and Seth gets brown hair and Tabitha gets blonde. The funny thing is, is um, Seth is the only one that's light skin colored like Tanisha. And now all the babies are crying. Okay, so we're taking care of this baby. And... Um, she's going to give a bottle, snuggle, play with... I don't think it's going to need a diaper change, but I don't want to click on the swing until I know. Let's see. Will you need a diaper change? Mm. Okay, well, the social's going up, so it's not in a bad mood anymore. Um... Now she's going to snuggle and then play with. 
And I think I'm just going to choose... I think I'm just going to choose Chain Cyber because I'm nervous that... Um, that she's going to need it. Then we're going to have her put her in a swing. Then we're going to go to Seth and we're going to give him a bottle. Snuggle him. Play with him. Change his diaper. And then we're going to put him in the swing when we get the chance. Okay. Well, Phil says her bladder is really low. But if she gets put in a swing before she has a bladder accident, um, then, well, before she dirties her diaper or nappy or whatever you call it, it'll go up. So I won't need to worry about changing her diaper. So, it looks good. Looks like we got it in time. And he's definitely going to probably need a diaper change. So, she can, she's going to change his diaper anyway. And then we're going to put him in a swing. And then we're going to turn on them to slow again. Because they really like it when they're on. And let's see. You need to... Okay, let's have you go to the front of the house. Look at the sky. It's really pretty. Have you go to the front of the house so you can talk with the dog. That probably sounded really awkward. But the dog needs some socialization. What the heck is he doing? Stop running around like a weirdie. Where are you? Oh. Well, I can get the horse to come to you then. Is this, it's the horse is fast. I'm hoping that he goes to the bathroom so she just changes his diaper and it's like... Just, he doesn't do it after she changes it. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. No, stop it. Come talk to the horse. Let's have you socialize, bark at, sniff, socialize, bark at, sniff, socialize, bark at, sniff. I'm just going through what he can do with her because, um, the only, the, the puppy only has three different interactions, so, it's not like he can do much with the, the horse. And let's get her to clean up the house a bit. Well, well, her husband already cleaned, fixed the bed. And... It's there to clean up her dirty plate. That's dirty. And now all the babies are swinging, and the one's sleeping. And, yeah. And the only other thing he has to do is use the, or get something to eat. Which let's cancel out shower because his time is getting very low. And, um, he needs to clean and then use the toilet and about 24 minutes now and he's got a nice tux on now that he has never had on before so that's something new and oh yeah the babies all got um imaginary friends Shave, or Seth, sorry, I, just, I keep saying the wrong name, looks like that, he got the gray one, and its name is, let's see, what's its name, I don't know, Teresa's is Peaches, and it looks like this, it's kind of different color, it's like half blue, half yellow, half dark blue. I've never seen that one before. And then Tabitha's is this one with the stars on it. It's like the light blue. It's the very traditional one that you see a lot. 
and um, but I'm going to try and figure out something for Tanisha to do. Um, she needs to get fatigued twice so we can have her work out. Um, let's see. Why can't she work out with the TV? Okay, turn that back off. Then let's have her work out do a cardio exercise. And the puppy is talking with the horse about ants. And going potty now. And so let's have her not break a sweat so we don't get all nasty. I just thought of this. I was zoomed in pretty close, so I'm sorry about that, everyone. And she just improved her athletic skills to level 3. And Shay's at work right now. And let's have him chat at the water cooler. Because he could use some friends. Let's change the volume to low. And let's see, what's the puppy doing? Still talking with the horsey. <coughs> Gracie. And Grace needs to eat and drink. So she needs to eat some hay and get a drink. And then she needs to practice jumping <coughs> to get herself some exercise. And when the puppy's done, he needs to go inside and chew on his hot dog, eat from his bowl, and then he needs to sleep. Right now he's chasing the mailman, <laughs> but he's so slow, the mailman's already like way gone. It's kind of funny. But he chases the mailman every day. And Tanisha needs to pay the bills after she's done working out. Saying working out just reminded me of the song Sexy and I Know It. I love that song. So let's see what the babies are doing. They're just sitting here, I think. This bookshelf is kind of annoying here. I might switch it up with some of the toys. Actually, I might do that right now. Cause it's really annoying. Like, you can't see the baby behind it because the toys are always in the way. So let's put Seth's crib in the corner. And let's move this out. Let's put the chair. Oh, that's going to suck too. Let's move the crib back here. Put the bookshelf in the corner. And the chair on this side. Like that. Okay, go back it up. Then we can put this here. Okay, that's not working. Um, maybe we can put the dog bed. Oh, that's not any better. Um, I want to put the dog bed in here because it seems it seems to bother him when he's like sleeping or whatever. But I don't know. I I want to get this stuff out of my. Well, that didn't help me either, did it? Okay, let's put the chair back in the corner. And let's put this in here. Because that's not the big deal. And then we'll put the crib here. And the toy box here. Perfect. Perfect. 
Now we'll be able to see the babies. Alright. So now we can see Tabitha because she was behind the bookshelf all the time. But she's just sitting here relaxing and having a little fun. Pretty much that's all they're doing. Horse is in there. The dog's eating. It's always eating. The dog is always eating. Okay, well, I don't know why he didn't chew, but he needs to chew. His hot dog. And, uh, yeah, and he's just still working out. And I just think these babies are the cutest little thing. I can't, I still can't believe she had triplets. But, um, yeah. That was a shocker and a half. Why is the ribbon missing on that? She's like pounding out the workout, man. Okay, let's move this stupid hot dog so we can chew it because he's saying that Tanisha's in the way. So let's now get him to chew the hot dog. And then he can go to sleep. He still gets that gourmet pooch because every I I'm gonna feed him that homemade stuff all the time. I think it's just easier that way. And he just loves playing with his little hot dog. Is Tanisha fatigued? Oh, she is. Perfect. All right, now she's gonna pay the bills, and then she needs to eat something. Let's, no, I do not think serve a beverage. Let's get her to eat cookies because that's all that's left. So maybe she should serve something for dinner. So when her husband gets home, what? Oh, she can only serve lunch, but she can serve. Um, let's have her serve autumn salad for when her husband gets home because he's probably gonna want something to eat when he gets home. And let's see how close he is to getting. He's like halfway up already on the performance meter for getting a promotion, so that's really cool. And um yeah, he doesn't really have much. He's actually getting stressed, so let's let him do business as usual. Might help with the stress a little bit. And the baby's just still playing. Now let's see, the horse is in a bad mood. Oh, going to going to go jump. Why can't you do it? Practice your jumping. Come on. Don't be lazy. Alright. Go. Woo! I actually think it's time to get her a bigger jump. And this says, special is, special does. Human resources think it would be beneficial for everyone to read our, you are special, a generic one-size-fits-all approach to pointing out the unique qualities in everyone. As fishy as it may sound, reading the book will earn you a better relationship with your boss and better job performance. So let's accept that. And let's have her cancel out of that so I can get her a bigger jump. Because she's over this one now. It's time for the next jump. Um, let's get her the amateur one. Okay, why can't I place it here? Oh, because the house. But I can place it like that. Okay. So let's see if she can jump this now. Oh, that was actually one of her wishes. Now let's have her jump this. We'll see if she will jump it. Come on, you can do it. Woo! Good job! And I'm going to pause it real quick and choose jump a few more times. And she gets her memory as if she just jumped over a jump obstacle, which gives her memory. 
and just finish training on some jumps. So, while she trains on her jumps, which this horse is in a fantastic mood, non like Fortune and Faith always are, they're always in a bad mood. Um, let's go see what the dog is doing now. And he's sleeping in his little bed. There's Moxie. And Tanisha is getting ready. Well, she's actually making the, I think, autumn salad. And Shay just left work with $311. And when he gets home, he really needs to have some fun. So let's get him to uh, watch some TV. And she needs to clean up the house a little bit. Because she's left it filthy again. Yeah, that's definitely on salad. It's there to clean us up. And everyone's in a good mood again. And after the dog is done sleeping, he needs to do his hot dog again because he just does. And he needs to put away the leftovers. And then you. And then go to sleep. Then Shay will be home to keep an eye on the baby. Even though they don't really need an eye. I don't like to leave my kids up when the parents aren't awake, I guess. And let's see. Gracie's still running and jumping and doing her thing. When she's done, she needs to take a nap. Just like Tanisha. When Tanisha's done, she needs to take a nap. Okay, so Shay's actually home now. And let's see, how far up is the bar for... Okay, he's like two-thirds up the bar. So probably his next work day, which is tomorrow, he will probably get a promotion, which will be pretty cool. And the babies are having fun, and he's having fun. And after he's done watching TV, he can eat some of the leftovers. Which he can have some of the salad she just made. And then he needs to put the babies to sleep or something. What's the dog doing? The dog is barking at the TV, not like they're supposed to be doing. And Grace is off to sleep. Because she's tired. Like Tanisha. Tired, tired, tired. And this is where I'm going to end the video for today, guys. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'm still at 24 subscribers, which I'm very thankful for you, 24. But I was hoping to get to 50 by May 8th. So if you guys could help me get some more subscribers, that'd be great. And um, it would be a great, Chris uh, great birthday present for me, guys. Even though you guys don't owe me a birthday present. Just, you know, the thought would be cute. Um, so, please help me get some more subscribers. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Okay? Bye!